welcome to our heart reviewing stuff so i'm gonna open up uh unbox and review uh, these new Billie Eilish dolls um, that are by Playmates and Playmates actually sent these uh, for free uh, for me uh, to review. So that's super exciting. Thank you so much Playmates toys. Um, I'm really honored that I get to check these out. Um, I think retail on this, the all the good girls go to hell is $19.99. I actually think I did see this at Target uh, the last time I went uh, to Target in the like adult collectibles. I feel like I saw her. Um, so let's see here. Package transforms, scan me. So I won't be able to do uh, that because that would need my phone, which I'm using. So this is a six inch collectible figure, fully posable diorama display. Um, so it's for her music video series. I haven't actually watched her music videos. I will have to check them out. I do like Billie Eilish. Um, I listen to her on the radio. So I'm sure I don't know like all the names of the songs unless like my car, actually depending on which car I'm in, one of my cars will tell me song names, the other one uh, won't. So it says relive your favorite Billie Eilish music video moment. Uh, and then again it says Six inch collectible figure, highly detailed, fully posable with pivoting wings, eco-friendly package, transforms into diorama display that brings figure to life. So that's really cool. So yeah, I'm excited to unbox. Um, it does say recycle the tray, keep the display. So it's like really frustration free packaging. And I think it's like, um, definitely like really recyclable. So I really like that. Like. The plastic might only just be this little window to see the face, like the other one. So let's see here. I'm gonna try to still carefully, because I don't know much about the display. So I can see her on here as well. So I know it says like it opens up. Um, I'll probably have to take like pictures for that though, just knowing me. So yeah, this is like a carton kind of material. So, um, Definitely nice that it's recyclable. Oh, okay, and then it just <laughs> opens up. Like, look how nice and frustration-free that is. Um, not like a whole lot of plastic to deal with. I think there's some protecting her. The wings are really cool. Wow. And then I think I've got like, I'm not sure, this might be kind of like a stand or something, I'm guessing. Um, so she's even got like a necklace on. Yeah, this really makes me want to watch the music video for her, so that'll be cool. So let me get the plastic off. So she's got kind of an oversized, like, black uh, t-shirt on and then some pants. She is barefoot. Um, you can bend her at the knee. Let's see here. I think the elbow and the wrist. She's kind of pointing. She's got, like... Uh, fingernails so I think the other arm as well yeah you can bend at the elbow and the wrist she's covered in I mean I don't know because I haven't watched the music video but it kind of seems like tar perhaps to me oh wow look how big the wings can be so you can play around with how you want the wings to be posed you can kind of close them in if you want or extend them out that's really really cool <clears throat> So yeah, I didn't know much about this one. I'm really liking it though. That's really cool. So again, thank you so much Playmates Toys. Like this is gonna be really fun to have <laughs> in my collection uh, of things. Cause I think I'll put this with like my Stranger Things uh, stuff and my little Bindi Figs Universal Mar Monsters that I have. So again, actually I'm not sure about this piece though. I wonder if there's, oh, maybe something tells us. Let's see here. So it looks like it is, okay, slide foot into stand is shown, toes slide under tab, and press heel down. So it's for one foot, so it probably will help like with um, keeping her uh, stand like and displayed. Let's try to take a look in here real quick just to see what this kind of looks like. So it's really cool. There's like flames and like uh, I see some light posts and it's almost like, I don't know, those aren't like telephone poles, I don't think, but something's like on fire. 
So yeah, really cool artwork inside of there. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely, since I do listen to her music, I'll just have to check out the music videos. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna get this one opened up. So this is Bad Guy. I think this one retails $29.99. Um, I think she is on Target. I'm not quite sure about Walmart and Amazon on these, um, but I feel like I have seen her online on Target and then I have seen the other one in store. So this one's called Bad Guy, which I know this song. I don't think I've listened to All the Good Girls Go to Hell, so I'll have to listen to that one. Um, so let me see, I wanna move those. You guys aren't looking at <laughs> blank space. Let me try to have her over here to hang out. I don't have her on her little foot stand yet, so I gotta figure that out. So this again is, uh, gives that little green sign. So it says recycle the tray, keep the display. Uh, um, so relive your favorite Billie Eilish music video moment. So she is gonna be larger, a 10.5 inch uh, collectible. So she's considered a fashion doll because you probably can remove the clothes and they're like fabric, whereas that's like plastic and I'm pretty sure you can't take it off. Um, so let's see here, highly detailed, fully posable, dressed in her iconic yellow hooded sweatshirt and pants, eco-friendly package, transforms into diorama display that brings doll to life. Doll stand included. So this one has a doll stand. The other one though has that little foot stand. Like I'm definitely gonna keep that and uh, figure it out because that'll help me with pictures. And I'm sure that balances her when you want to play around with those wings. So let's see here again, there's just like, I think a single piece of tape over here. And then I think it's pretty easy to open up. So thank you so much Playmates Toys. I really hope people take some pointers from how you guys boxed these dolls. Like I would love to see more of this um, going on. Um, I'm, I really don't like plastic. Uh, you throw away so much stuff. Uh, I think this was just a fabulous idea. So I don't know, I hope some other doll companies, you know, the big ones like Barbie MGA, they really should take some pointers for how you guys package these dolls because I would love to see this in OMG dolls and Rainbow High and Barbie, like just make it way easier to unbox. So, and then it even says down here, includes fashion doll and doll stand. Okay, so I got the tape off and then I think we just, yes, yeah, so you can lift up. Oh, this is cool artwork too. So I think the other one, we just kind of saw her face. This one, we can see her looking all cool in her outfit. So let me see here. So we've got another little instructions, I think for your stand. Um, I forget, I think, okay, push tab up to loosen C clamp and slide up or down. Place doll and clamp at waist level and set height. So yeah, I think you can, I think it's a pretty cool stand. I know I saw some unboxings and I think it is a little different than some other stands. I'm gonna keep my little directions. Okay, so let's see here. So again, so you can keep uh, this is a display, uh, if you want, um, let's see, I'm gonna set it over with the other one, I'll show you guys, again, it's just amazing to me, she's so easy to get out, so there's her little, you know, that's the only, like, really piece of plastic in here, and then it just lifts up, and there's no plastic jibbers, as I think we all kind of call them, to cut, um, no nightmare with the hair, like, oh, it always stresses me out, um, you know, when they like have them stapled and you have to try to get the doll out. This is just so, so much better. Amazing. So here she is. So her hair is kind of, um, it's got some product in it, but, uh, you can, oh, it's really soft in the back though, where the hood was on her. So you can either probably wash that or, um, wow, well, yeah, it's so soft back here. Um, so right here, it's like probably just for a look wise. Um, but yeah, you can probably comb that or, uh, get some water or like, uh, some shampoo and conditioner, detangler spray, lots of things. I think some people even use dishwasher soap. There is a little tie 
and it's connected to her hood. Um, so I'll probably change that because I just, I would like to get her hair all soft. I like the length though, and it's really pretty um, with the like greenish blue, kind of like a teal color, but I think it might be black as well mixed in is my guess of what that other color is. Either that or it could possibly be navy blue, but it looks black to me. And then I think her face is really cool. She's kind of got like an upward stare, like with some attitude and sass. So let's see here. So she's got the yellow hoodie on. It is Velcroed. So her hood is a functional hood that you can like, oops, let me go down. So you can actually put it on her or take it down. It's Velcroed all in the back. And then her pants are, I think, just elastic. So those are easy to slip on and off. And then let me see. Oh, we actually do, I think, have real pockets here. That's really cool. And it's a good size pocket because she's got kind of, what do they call these, like cargo pants? Um, yeah, I think the other one is, a, yeah, that's a pocket too. And then she's got these cute detail black straps on the bottom. That's a really cool detail. And then kind of an orangish one too. And then yellow sneakers, just like a plastic mold on those. And then let's see here. She's got ankle movement. She does have movement at the knee. Let me see. She's got like quite a bit of rotation in the leg. I don't know what they call this. <laughs> Other doll collectors will know. I don't know if they consider this hip, like hip movement. I don't know. So way up here, she's got some leg movement that she might be the only doll I have that has that. And then she can move at the elbow. Let's see. I think the wrist too. Yeah. And then at the shoulder can kind of go, I think out and up or down. So, and then I'm not sure if she's got, I think this is considered hip movement or something. I don't think she has that. So, but yeah, really cool doll. Um, okay. And then her stand is in here as well. It seems like it's probably pretty simple to assemble. Cause I think, oops, I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera for you guys. I think this just goes in there and then I think, okay. Yeah. So you can kind of move that and then I think you can move this up and then I think this locks it in place. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera. I'm also excited. <laughs> So let's see. Yeah. So you move that and then that locks it. So that's cool. You can kind of move it because she does have a lot of posability more so than probably I think any other doll I've got. So I think that's why they wanted to make the stand, um, wherever you want it. And then it's cool that it locks in place so that like it doesn't slide up or down due to like the weight of the doll. So yeah, really, really cool. I would say even if you're not a Billie Eilish fan, if you're a doll fan, I think you would like uh, these, probably especially this one. Um, I would consider this more of a collectible of a figure. So I don't know if doll collectors are as into that one, but I could see doll collectors being into this one. I like both though. I'm gonna have fun with those wings. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you again, Playmates Toys. I'm just really honored and excited that uh, we got to review these for you guys. And uh, until next time, uh, happy holidays and 